Okay, in this video, we're going to look into building a voice activated switch. So we could use voice commands to turn on or off a device. Now, if you look at my breadboard, you can see I have four LEDs on my breadboard, and that represents the four devices that I could control with voice commands. So my first LED could be controlling a door, my second LED could be controlling a heater, third LED a light, and the fourth LED a window. So by voice commands, I could actually turn on or off any one of those devices. Now those four LEDs are connected to the GPIO outputs of the Arduino Nano. I also have an HC06 Bluetooth module, which is connected to the serial port of the Arduino Nano. Now I send voice commands using an app on my smartphone, my Android smartphone. And basically this app is a speech-to-text converter. So whatever voice that I, I speak into my phone, it's going to convert it to text and it will send it over to the HC06 Bluetooth module and that will fit into the Arduino Nano to be decoded. So I could activate some some commands. Door open. Door close. Heat on. Heat off. Light on. Light off. Window open. Window close. All high. All low. Okay, I have my scope connected to the output of my HC06 Bluetooth module. So I'm monitoring the TX output. So this is the UART output from the HC06 module, which is being fed into the RS232 port, the serial port of the Arduino Nano. So when I send some commands, we'll actually see some ASCII code being sent from the HC06 Bluetooth module to the Arduino Nano. So I'll give it some commands. Light on. Light off. Window open. Window close. That's the data that my app is sending to my Bluetooth module. It's converting my voice to text. Okay, the same data that I sent to my scope that we were monitoring on my scope, I have now fed into a serial terminal program called TerraTerm. So now we can actually see the text that the Arduino Nano is going to be scanning for and the format that is being sent. So I'll send some commands. Window open. Window close. Light on. light off. So you can see each text that's being sent, each string, starts with an asterisk and ends with a number sign. So that's our delimiters. So that's uh, one way the Arduino Nano could actually tell when the command starts. So it's going to scan for an asterisk, then it knows that the string after that is, is a proper string. So I could send some uh, other, other codes. Hello world, testing one, two, three, four, five. Now you notice when I uh, send some send numbers, it actually sends ASCII numbers. 163.25. I'll actually recognize floating point. Okay, here's the code running on my Nano for my voice controlled switch. And the code is written in fourth, so it's compact, it's fast, and it's interactive. If you look at the very top, we can see the ASCII code for Asterix is 42, and the ASCII code for number sign is 35, and we'll use that in our code. So the first word we see is asterisk detect, so it's going to scan the incoming text, and it's going to wait for an asterisk. So it goes into a begin and until loop and waits for a ASCII 42. Then it knows that's an asterisk, and the, the string following that will be legal, will be a legal command. So here's all my commands that I want to match. So my light on, light off, door open, door closed, those are the commands I'll send 
using my app and if it matches that then it will turn on the, uh, the appropriate GPIO pin. So the next word is get voice. So when it sees an asterisk, detects an asterisk, it will, it will suck in that string and it will put that string into a buffer called pad until it sees ASCII 35. And that's the delimiter, that's the end of the string. Then it goes into my main program. This is my main program that runs. So the first thing it does is init that initializes the GPIO to outputs. So I'm using pins 10, 11, 12, and 13 GPIO. So they'll all be outputs. And my uh, RS-232 port will be set to 19.2k baud rate. Then I go into a begin until loop. And that's going to that's gonna run over and over. So the first thing it does is get voice. It'll get the command. Then it'll do a match. So if it sees light on, and if there's a match, then it'll turn on pin 13 on the GPIO, which will turn on that device. Light off, if there's a match, then it'll turn pin 13 low, turn it off. So it goes down the whole list, trying to match all the commands. And if it doesn't see a match at the very end, then it's going to fill the pad with blanks and go back up to the beginning and start all over again. So in your code, you would put in your custom commands in here to match your project. Okay, now you know how this circuit works. It's a pretty simple circuit. All you need is an Arduino Nano, four LEDs connected to the GPIO lines, a HC06 Bluetooth module, and I'm powering it with a 9 volt battery so it's so the circuit is totally wireless. And for the app on your smartphone, it's called AMR Voice. So you can don't download that, it's a free download. And all you have to do is pair it, because you can see the it needs to be paired. I've got I got my LED blinking on my Bluetooth module. So we pair it. So once it's paired, you can see the LED stops stops flashing on the Bluetooth module. So we're ready to send commands. So that's the circuit there. Uh, one thing, I have a voltage divider here that's feeding the RS-232 signal from the Nano into the HC06 Bluetooth module. I have a voltage divider to cut it down to 3.3 volts. So that's the circuit there. It's pretty simple to build, to build your own voice-controlled switch.